So Google Takeout's a product that you can use to export all of your Google data and take it with you. So this is going to be um, not just Google Drive, but it can be from any of the Google products. And if you notice, if I scroll down the list at this website, this lists all of the products for which you can take Google out of. Um, everything from maps, if you know, if you have YouTube videos uploaded, um, it could be everything from your Google Drive. If you're a photography student, you probably want to export your Google Photos. So what you're going to do when you first get to this page is you're going to click, I always click select none, and then I'm going to select each one of the products that I want to export. So if I'd wanted to export Google Drive and let's say if I was a photography student I'd want to put Google Photos in here and potentially I want my Gmail archived and I want that done as well and maybe I have some YouTube videos I'm gonna just leave that off for now and then once you've chosen the products you want to export and you can choose all of them if you want to um, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and hit next and then it asks me what kind of file type I want. So the traditional is a zip file, and I would suggest that you just leave it as zip because it's the easiest for people to work with. Um, in terms of an archive size, it basically will keep, it'll just create multiple files if your, um, our, if your data takes up more than two gigabytes. But if you wanna have a really large file, you can change that. So you could even make it up to 50 gigabytes or something like that. It just takes longer to download, that's all. Um, I'll say, I guess I'll just leave it at, at two, like the default was. And then the delivery method. You can get your data one of two ways. You can either have it send a link via email, in which case, um, and I'll show you that in a moment, and then the other option, you can have it added to your Dropbox or OneDrive if you have any of these accounts. But the other option is you can say, I want to add it to Google Drive. Okay, once I go ahead and create the archive, I'm just going to say send link to email. When I go ahead and create the archive, it basically just gives me this. It, it could take a while. It depends how much data you have. If you have a lot of photos and you're exporting Google Photos, I mean, sometimes it can take several hours before you're going to get an email confirmation. But if I chose to have the data sent via email, what I would do is check my email, and here's the email of a previous um, archive that I've made and you see that it came in in three files so what I would do is I would click on the archive file to download it and it automatically asks you to please log into your Google account to verify it's you oops and then it starts the whole downloading process so right now it says oh, so I'm going to save this to my desktop and I'm going to hit save and it's starting to download. Now, if you guys notice, I mean, this could, this says it takes, it's going to take four hours for this to download. It probably won't take four hours, but it might take a while. What you want to make sure you do, though, is that you download your data onto your own personal computer. So you want to open up your email from your personal computer and download it this way. If you chose the option to, instead of having the email link, the data link email to you if you had chosen the option um, at the previous screen um, if you had chosen the option to add to drive it basically um, right here instead of email if you had said add to drive what that does is it actually creates a folder in Google Drive called takeout for you so here it is here's my takeout folder and then it's a zip file so what I would do is I would want to download this zip file onto my computer. So I would right click on it and I would hit download and then save that to my computer. And the reason I need to do this is because if I don't, then what's going to happen is um, my Google account is going to get deleted. And now the archive that you created to back it up is still sitting in the Google account. So you need to make sure that you get it out of the Google account before your account is deleted. Um, once you have an archive, I'm just going to go to my desktop so you can see it. It shows up. These are it shows up as a zip file. So what you do is you is you double click on it, and then you're going to double click on takeout. 
Now this one was was kind of random because I, this is really my bookmark file and a Google Keep file that I have. So um, I can import this now into Chrome and get all my bookmarks if I want to. But if this was Google Drive or Google Photos, you would see all the folders of all of the data listed in here. So that's how Google um, Takeout works. And it's a great tool to be able to take everything with you easily without having to do a lot of work. I do want to just note that that email link of the download needs to be downloaded to your computer within seven days because that link is not valid forever. So your data does just not sit in that email link. You need to make sure that you download the link within seven days. Okay.